Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Saddam Hussein was captured Saturday, December 13th at about 8.30 p.m. local in a cellar in the town of Adwar, which is about 15 kilometers south of Tikrit. Before Dr. Pa before Dr. Pachachi, who is the acting president of the governing council and Lieutenant General Sanchez speak, I want to say a few words to the people of Iraq. This is a great day in Iraq's history. For decades, hundreds of thousands of you suffered at the hands of this cruel man. For decades, Saddam Hussein divided you citizens against each other. For decades, he threatened and attacked your neighbors. Those days are over forever. Now it is time to look to the future to your future of hope, to a future of reconciliation. Iraq's future, your future, has never been more full of hope. The tyrant is a prisoner. The economy is moving forward. You have before you the prospect of a sovereign government in a few months. With the arrest of Saddam Hussein, there is a new opportunity for the members of the former regime, whether military or civilian, to end their bitter opposition. Let them now come forward in a spirit of reconciliation and hope, lay down their arms, and join you, their fellow citizens, in the task of building the new Iraq. Coalition forces subsequently found a suspicious location to the northwest of Wolverine II. The area is a small walled compound with a metal lean-to structure, a mud hut, and during the search, a spider hole was detected. The spider hole's entrance was camouflaged with bricks and dirt. After uncovering the spider hole, a search was conducted, and Saddam Hussein was found hiding at the bottom of the hole. The spider hole is about six to eight feet deep and allows enough space for a person to lie down inside of it. Saddam was captured without resistance. What you see here is a short clip of the hole where Saddam Hussein was found. This is the air vent and a fan, exhaust fan, that had been built into the hole to allow him to remain un underground. This is Saddam as he was being given his medical examination today. Saddam's uh, medical examination proved that he had uh, uh, no injuries and he is in good health. What we, what we will... What we will see next 
is a picture of Saddam Hussein at, uh, at the time he was captured. On, the, on uh, your left and on the right is Saddam Hussein as, after uh, he was shaved. Next slide. And here you see Saddam, a historical picture, and with him today on my left. The capture of Saddam Hussein is a defining moment in the new Iraq. I expect that the detention of Saddam Hussein will be regarded as the beginning of reconciliation for the people of Iraq and as a sign of Iraq's rebirth. Just as importantly, this success brings closure to the Iraqi people. We now have final resolution. Saddam Hussein will never return to a position of power from which he can punish, terrorize, intimidate, and exploit the Iraqi people as he did for more than 35 years. The chapter of Iraq's history that was filled with Saddam Hussein's reign of terror is now closed forever. Well, good afternoon to all of you here. And uh, أصدق التهاني إلى الشعب العراقي في هذا اليوم التاريخي السعيد ذهبت إلى غير رجعة دولة الخوف والمخابرات والاضطهاد تغمر الشعب العراقي فرحة عامرة وسرور بالغ ونحن نتطلع إلى المستقبل مستقبل المصالحة الوطنية The determination about how and when Saddam would face justice and he will face justice is a question that still remains uh, before us. I want to know if it's possible something about the possibility the Saddam Hussein had to run the guerrilla from that all underground. I, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Should we go to Iraq? Well, he, uh, he seemed to be uh, was rather tired and haggard, but as uh, my colleague, Dr. Abdel uh, said, he was unrepentant. صحيح يعني متعب يعني متعب نفسيا أو متعب جسديا ولكن لم نشعر به في أي لحظة من اللحظات أنه باعتذار للشعب العراقي أو أنه يشعر أنه جرائم التي ارتكبها Give him a chance. This is a free country, you know. No, I'm 